Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I've been waiting to make this one for months. Now, I know there's been people that had the game illegally before it came out, but uh, that was not the uh, full game since there's a big update required to get all the Pokemon, etc. So, I'll be showing you how to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl on Yuzu Emulator from scratch. So, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment down below if this worked. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so when you got Yuzu from either yuzumu.org or my links or their Patreon, you're going to open the EXE. Now, you should be uh, welcomed with this error message. Just click OK because this is for the keys that we're going to add right away. Now, after that, you can click yes or no. I'm going to click no for now. And as I said, we're going to add the prod keys. So you're going to click file and open the Yuzu folder. Now, once we're in here, you're going to have some folders. Look for the keys folder and double click it. In here, it will be empty or it will be like auto generated keys. But put the prod keys in this folder, link down below or in my Discord server. And make sure you have the new ones, not the old ones from my older tutorials. So it should be about 12 KB in size. And uh, yeah, after this, you can click out of the folder. And we're going to double click to add a new folder to the game list. So not the game itself, the folder that your game is in. Now, please make sure none of the files that you just downloaded are a .zip or .rar because then you have to unzip them. But yeah, game files should be either .xci or .nsp. And the prod keys is just prod.keys, so you don't have to unzip those. Anyways, I'm going to find my game folder, in my case, Yuzu Games. And uh, yeah, I'm going to select my folder. Now, what I'm also going to do is right click and scan subfolders. Make sure it is checked. But yeah, as you can see, the games are not showing up yet. So we're going to close Yuzu and open it again. All right, so we're back in Yuzu. And as you can tell, all my games are here, including Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I do not have Shining Pearl yet. So I yet have to dump that game, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, the game is showing up, so that is good. Um, but it still is version 1.0.0. And we need version 1.1.1. Link in the description as well. So I already made a video on how to update your game. So please watch that. Link is in the description below. So after you updated the game, again, check my video on that if you want to update your game, which you should. Just click OK. And it should say update 1.1.1. Now, before you can actually play the game, we're going to go through all the settings for the best FPS and the best looks. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to go to emulation and then configure. Now, in here, the first thing I'm going to do is put the theme on dark colorful because it just looks way better to me and I like my eyes. Now, I'm going to go back to configure. And for the rest, you don't really have to do anything for this. Now under system, you don't really have to do any of this either. I do recommend looking at my Yuzu online tutorial and then I'll show you how the network interface setting works and stuff. And you can make another profile, but you don't really have to. Now under CPU, just keep this on auto. Under graphics, make sure you choose Vulkan and choose your correct graphics card. So the best one basically. Also update your drivers if it doesn't work. If it still doesn't work, your GPU is probably too bad. Now you can keep this all the same. If you have a GPU above four gigabytes, make sure to use a 2x resolution. So your game will be rendering at 1440p or 4K. Even if you don't have a 4K monitor, it will look way better. Now window adapting filter, you can choose bilinear. I'm going to choose nearest neighbor. Try to play around with these. Some impact performance more than others. To be safe, I'm going to keep it on nearest neighbor. And anti-aliasing method, you can choose FXAA. It will make things smoother. Now keep these all the same and use asynchronous shader building. It's uh, way faster. And anisotropic filtering, they have a new feature called automatic. I'm actually going to keep it on automatic. Uh, you can play around with this as well. And uh, yeah, under audio, you don't really have to do anything. But if you want a specific audio device, it's the second option. And for controls, this is also very important. If your controller doesn't show up, press the refresh button and now it should show up. As you can see, it's already set up by default on Yuzu's part. I always change these buttons because they're different on the, the Switch controllers. If you have a PS4 controller or anything with uh, motion, you can turn it on and configure it here. 
a vibration you can turn it off if you want to or configure it but uh, yeah basically i always use the pro controller because otherwise it will expect you to swing the controllers but you do have the option for dual joy cons or a left or right one or the console and handheld or even a gamecube controller but i recommend you use the pro controller and make sure the console is in docked mode for the best resolution and details in your game now in here you can make a new controller profile press ok and if you make any changes after that you can hit save and uh, yeah click ok and now we're basically set up so again make sure to subscribe and like and comment if it worked 